a model if you haven't uh, imported or uploaded it to Sketchfab with pre-existing textures and something like an FBX. So you can see I just have a simple, lovely, untextured sphere here. So what I'm going to do is go to the Materials tab, and then just click on Base Color and Import Textures. I'm going to find my textures somewhere. Aha, and just select all of the ones that I want to upload. Um, and then you want to just make sure that whichever one, in this case, Albedo is selected. Albedo, I don't really know how you say that. But uh, click that one because it's the base color channel, and you can see that there is now a color on the sphere. Uh, and then you just want to go through for the rest of them. So I have, I have a normal map. Um, and then you can just, now since I've uploaded all the textures, I can just do choose texture from the drop down. Um, you see that's a lovely normal map thing. Uh, what else do I need? Cappy. I do have an ambient occlusion map. Um, so we're gonna run through. Um, and then I have a specular map, which uh, in this case should be applied to the roughness channel. Um, I'll, there, I'll apply it to specular really quick. So you can see the difference. Spec. Um, honestly, it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. But, um, I don't know. I, for some reason, I usually just end up adding that to the roughness channel. Um, it's like a strange personal preference. Um, and then, what else do I have? Oh, whenever you have an ambient occlusion, I like to click Occlude Specular. Because um, you'll see over here, there's like some weird highlights and crevices. Uh, but if you click that, it makes them nice and dark. Um, and then I also have a displacement map, which is going to do some real fun stuff. Uh, displacement map. Yeah, it makes it all horribly cool. So now that I have basically all my textures uploaded, I'm just going to go and randomly select, you know, a different lighting, something that I think is orangish, perhaps, because um, it's like lava. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so this is my lovely new texture in Sketchfab. Um, now you can actually do this for a number of separate materials in the same scene. Um, all you want to do for that is so go into your modeling program of choice. Um, in this case, I just threw in some random primitives for grins. And you want to assign each of them their own material. Um, it doesn't really matter what the material is. Um, unfortunately, this makes me really sad, but... Uh, Sketchfab doesn't have a tendency, and this one is just the default color, um, but Sketchfab doesn't, if you rename the texture in the program, it doesn't seem to keep it renamed in Sketchfab, which makes me real sad. Um, very confusing. But anyway, so I'm going to highlight all of these, go to File, Export Selection, uh, and then Sketchfab Material Test, I'm just overriding this old file I had, um, and you want to make sure that Materials is on, and what that'll do is generate a little MTL file. Do the thing. Uh, so it'll generate an MTL file, which show it to you in a sec. Um, yeah, so here's a little MTL file, and that pretty much just says it'll mark that each of these different objects has a different material on it. Um, so I've already gone and I've uploaded this to Shapeways or Sketchfab. Um, so the same thing, I'm going to go to the Materials tab, and you'll see now there's a bunch of different um, textures listed here that I can select from to modify individually. Um, so like I'm going to make, and you can also just click, if you click the object since you're in the material tab, it knows you want to edit the materials, and it makes life real nice and real simple. Um, then like this one I can do go and I can add in some kind of random texture if I want. In this case I'll just throw on a normal map texture because it's in the folder and it's convenient. Um, and you can modify, you know, like I said, you can modify all of these totally texture, totally separately from each other. Um, and you can get really insane with it, like, um, this scene that I have has a lot of materials in it. Um, and this is, this, the scene was actually barely big enough, or it was barely small enough to fit in the Sketchfab, and if I put materials in it, it would have been, like, three times the size. So I had to go through and up, um, re-add all of these materials separately, separate texture for this, the pen tip, each of these little swirly bits in here is its own texture, because originally I had the rainbow. Um, there's like three textures on the ice cubes, because there's like little spheres in them. It's a whole thing, but it's kind of fun to like play with the sliders, so I don't necessarily mind doing it, even if it is a bit redundant. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it um, for adding textures to Sketchfab. Um, they don't like, if you try to upload a file format, it doesn't like like TIFF, it'll yell at you. 
Um, the only other thing that I can think of is if you're using opacity with a mask, which I think I did maybe somewhere on these cubes. No, okay. Um, but if you're using opacity with a mask, um, that needs to be like a JPEG. I usually use JPEG files with an alpha. If it doesn't have an alpha, it will yell at you and not work at all. Um, so that's just another thing to bear in mind. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the thing. So you can you know, like or subscribe or not, and then have a lovely day either way. Um, yeah, peace, guys.